to have enough money also to give back. You've given $7 billion over the last 30 years. Was it, uh, you know, I have and I give back? Was that always your... Uh, I, I wouldn't... I, I, uh, uh, making money came before giving it away. So well, it the has idea, to. <laughs> the, the, idea, the idea of, uh, of helping people or making some difference, positive difference in the world was very much an idea that I sort of developed under my father's influence. Uh, but then it was pretty rough going at the beginning. So I was pretty much engaged in the hurly-burly of money making and after the first 10 years that I started uh, giving money away. And, and then, of course, you have your, your philanthropy and your open societies, and that's when this all started. How do you choose? Do you, do you remember the first time that you said, I want to give money to a good cause, and what that cause was? Well, that was a, a, a time, a very distinct time, uh, that when I had made uh, actually um, um, about $30 million. And I thought, well, that's really enough for me and my family. Um, and it was very, very strenuous uh, business, the hedge fund, very great strain. And I was reflecting on why do I knock myself out? And, and that's when, that was in uh, 1979, 78, that I decided to uh, set up a foundation and uh, uh, and I actually reflected really uh, quite uh, seriously what it is that I really care about. And uh, I decided on a rather abstract uh, concept of an open society, which I uh, learned from Karl Popper, the philosopher, uh, which is uh, in contrast to a closed society like uh, uh, Nazi Germany or or the Soviet uh, system. So the idea of open society is that it's a society which, of course, uh, promotes individuals and free free thought and also critical thinking and individual freedom uh, uh. and the recognition that our understanding of the world is always imperfect. That uh, you know the ultimate uh, truth is not within our. Uh, reach and and those who believe that they've got the ultimate answer are bound to be wrong. That's all part of the open society, uh, Karl Popper philosophy, which I, which has influenced me very much. How would you describe yourself as a philanthropist? You you seem to be the voice of the people that have little, that are poor, and often don't have their own voice. For example, you're very interested in Roma cases, and this is something that you hardly hear about. Okay. Well, uh, I, would, I would say that I'm a, a political a philanthropist. In other words, uh, I, I would like to, to make the world a better place and uh, improve government, really, and, and, and cure injustice. Uh, so uh, the, the Roma are the really, uh, uh, in, in Eastern Europe, a excluded on ethnic grounds, a tremendous uh, uh, prejudice, and uh, live in horrendous uh, conditions. And it's a problem that's still very, very serious. Uh, and we've been at, at it for 20 odd years. And we actually uh, managed to educate a new group of of uh, Roma young uh, intellectual leaders who recognize, uh, uh, re remain Roma. How, for your foundations, how much do you get involved uh, on, a, I don't know, daily or weekly or monthly uh, well, basis? I, uh, uh, now, I, 
have retired from uh, from uh, running uh, the hedge fund, and I'm uh, totally involved in, in in philanthropy. So, so you get calls daily on what to do with this, or how, I mean, how much do yeah, you have uh, hands on? Are you? I'm I'm retired, and therefore I'm working pretty full time. <laughs> because a charity often just needs to be run like a company. It, very much so, and that's one of the. Uh, mistakes about uh, uh, philanthropy. What is? What do you hope to be your legacy to be? I, I know you're, you're a anybody? big philanthropist, giving so much money back. You've also been a, quite a controversial figure. How do those two fit together? Fit together? Yeah. Well, actually, I would like to. It's really, if I could uh, uh, make a contribution to our understanding of the world and particularly of of uh, social situations, polit uh, politics, economics, th that's what I would uh, uh, really like. So, Mr. George Soros, thank you so much. Re retired from the hedge fund, but not at all from philanthropy. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs>